You've all heard of those dramatic headlines about a plane falling in air pockets with stewardess flying through the cabin. I'm not going to quote all the pearls of wisdom that are constantly published when a plane passes through an unstable layer of air. In this lesson of the course, we will expand on the subject of turbulence, which is the more professional name of the phenomenon. We'll discuss what causes them, when we can expect them, if any, and try to understand the action of the flight attendants and pilots so that we can more correctly interpret what we see and feel when the plane flies in unstable air. When I said we'll understand what we're feeling, I meant to explain why our bodies are deceiving us in a way that we can't estimate the intensity of the turbulence. Also, our bodies deceive us and create a problem for us in the perception of space. Then it's perfectly clear why fear is so high. The not-so-simple connection between a lack of knowledge and lack of data and an incorrect special perception leads us to fear. After this lesson, I believe dealing with turbulence will be easier. In another lesson of this video course, The Course of Flight, we will talk about dealing with the fear during a flight. In this sense, among other ways, we offer you a way to neutralize this error in special perception. But before we dive deeper, it's very important to emphasize that most types of turbulence do not pose any threat to passenger planes. The main effect is on a passenger's comfort. And in a case where a passenger or object is not secured, there's always a risk of being injured. The structure of the aircraft is designed, built, and tested to withstand far greater efforts than any turbulence we meet could ever achieve. Moreover, there has been no aircraft accident in the current era caused by such turbulence, and the occasional reports that we sometimes receive from the media are wrong at best and suffer great exaggeration. Let's first talk about the facts, and we'll start by disproving the most common fears. What's going to happen to our plane? In short, nothing can happen to the plane, but we're here to explain and expand, right? And secondly, once the meal service is finished, I'm sure you'll try and get some sleep over the uh, course of the flight flight. So for that reason, please keep your seatbelts fast and visible. Over the top of any blankets you might be using, and that will crew won't have to disturb you if or when we switch the seatbelts on. Strong winds aloft tonight, giving us a uh, very quick flight time, six hours and twenty minutes. 